What's going on guys? So Spotify or DistroKid has taken down 15,000 different songs as of January 1st of artists that are claimed to have bought it uh, playlist streams from third party playlists. So let's discuss this. What's going on guys? My name is Matei, another day for Music Biz Daily. And this is literally like the hottest story right now in the last few days. And it's talking about, uh, the way I'm hearing it is people are saying, don't distribute through DistroKid because they're taking down um, artist songs if they believe they had bought it streams from third party playlists and songs that is not Spotify and so on and so forth. But let's break down the facts. Let me first start with telling you that I know firsthand from some of the clients that have joined us that came to us after they had their uh, tracks shut down um, in the past uh, has they, they've come from different d d distributors as well. Second fact that I want to give you guys is that Spotify owns a minority stake in DistroKid. Minority stake can be anywhere from 5 to 49% of the company. Majority stake is 51%. So, you know, they, well, let's call it that they own like 15, 20%, whatever the case is, right? And that's the only company, only uh, indie artist distributor between like CD Baby and like United Masters and um, uh, TuneCore and distributors like that, that Spotify actually owns a stake in, right? So think about it, they can control kind of what DistroKid does, right? Um, and, and third of all, um, let's, let's look at it this way. What some of the things I looked at are saying is that the artists will get a message from DistroKid saying that their songs got taken down because Spotify alerted them that they had a lot of suspicious uh, streams and they will take the so song down. Now the artists are emailing Spotify, Spotify is like, hey man, talk to your distributor. Then the distributor, which is DistroKid, will email the artist back and say, hey, Spotify said this. Think about this, Spotify has had a major issues with third party bullshit playlists. Um, Spotify has to pay out for all these streams, whether they're real or fake. That means it's taken away from Spotify's bottom line. It's hurting Spotify's pockets if there are more and more bullshit third-party playlists, right? So this gives them a perfect excuse to kind of, you know, not seem evil, but to kind of pass the blame on the distributor that they own a stake in to say, look, yes, we, you know, we've taken it down, but don't talk to us, talk to the distributor, which is making the industry thing that the, the distro kid is the culprit. The distro kid is somehow, you know, uh, taking these things down because I've heard reports of saying that DistroKid owns Spotify money. Let's talk about another fact. That's not how it uh, flows. DistroKid doesn't pay Spotify. DistroKid is the uh, aggregator that will get you track on all the major platforms. Then those platforms like Apple Music and Spotify will pay DistroKid after some time on the stream. So what is DistroKid paying Spotify for? Maybe if it's, you know, like they're not paying them the profits from the DistroKid revenue, that may be the case, something behind the scenes that we don't know. I'm not saying it's not, but the way the money flows for all these distributors is that um, Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music, Pandora, Google Play, I mean, you name it, they pay the distributors who then pay you. Some distributors, like United Masters, at least one of their account types will take 10% off the top. Some of the invite only, like STEM and Empire, will take 10% off the top and so on and so forth before they give you the money. But the money flows from the streaming companies down to the distributor, right? Um, look, I've, I've been reading some stuff on Facebook where people are saying, that you know is not just artists that have sort of fake bot streams and all of that but it's like you know some uh pitching companies are saying look guys you know it's not our fault that your sons got taken down i understand we pitched you all to these playlists this this and that the problem is what i found and we spent a lot of money on third-party playlists like a year ago is that even these companies that are pitching to these third-party playlists they do not know the quality of these third-party playlists and unfortunately 95% of these third-party playlists are trash in terms of quality of listeners. They're either, you know, 30% sprinkled on top of bots or they're constantly creating ads to chase listeners that are low quality. The reason they're low quality is because these playlisting companies are willing to take money from any artist and put anything on their playlist, which lowers the entire quality of the experience for the listener so listeners never stick with them so they're constantly chasing new listeners and then of course to make the numbers even better they sprinkle a bunch of those bot playlists on top of it so the the moral of the story is of these playlists i don't know what's going to happen but you know what i'm saying there may be a situation that spotify takes a a, a uh, strong action in the next coming months where 
anything detected with a bot stream somehow, and they're gonna figure it out eventually. The playlist is gonna get shut down and potentially actions are gonna be taken against the artist that did that. Look, no other platform, like on Apple Music, you can't fake uh, get on, you know, not fake your, I mean, really it is faking your streams, but you can't pay any playlist that you can get in touch with to put your mu uh, music on their playlist to get all these streams. The playlists that exist on uh, Apple Music are from somebody like Ebro in the Morning or the NBA uh, has their own playlist or a video game has their own playlist or major influencers or channels like uh, Apple Music Radio 1 or the Beats 1 Radio will have their own playlist. You can only get on those playlists through relationships or through other means. You can't just pay to get on it. I'm not saying in some cases, you know, under the table, you know, money isn't being passed around to get on these playlists. But what I'm saying is that Spotify has created an ecosystem where it enabled a lot of companies to create a bunch of bullshit playlists which are not hurting artists. I've been talking about this for months upon months upon months. So I just want to let you know from everything I understand that it's not this stroke that has taken down your songs. It's probably Spotify. It's a perfect excuse for them to do it through this trick because they own a stake at their company so they got more control and for them to wipe their hands and say, well, look, don't hold us responsible. Talk to the distributor and then the distributor will you know, send you back to say, look, talk to Spotify. They're the ones that made us take it down. And it's a perfect game for Spotify because guess what? Spotify does not have to pay out money for these streams. You know what I'm saying? So that's my two cents on this whole situation. So again, the facts are that Spotify owns a stake in DistroKid. The way the money flows is from the streaming services to the distributors, then down. And artists are going to be continue to get taken off the platforms. And then the last fact that I want to mention again, I have seen artists being, their, their Spotify songs were taken down from Spotify, even if they're going through other distributors like Ditto Music. And the other one I had experienced through, I think it was either CD Baby or TuneCore, I got to check back in my record. So it's not just DistroKid that has taken it down, which is what it you know, kind of seems like right now. So my recommendation is stay the hell away from third party playlists advertise the correct way, direct to consumer, or go through influencers, or TikTok campaigns, whatever it is, but don't get on third-party playlists. I would avoid them at all costs, unless the playlist is owned by LeBron James, and he's gonna put you on it because of the strength of him liking your song, or it's like an Old Navy or Macy's playlist, which has a curator, and again, they, they choose and pick who they wanna put on it, and they generally, playlists like that, do not charge to get put on those playlists um, and just you know do the, do the thing right, man. The fake streams and, and, and uh, listeners that yes, you're, you may get paid for, are only gonna get you shut down. At the end of the day, it's not giving you real fans. So you may make a couple thousand dollars extra before you get shut down, but in the long run, it's not taking your artist demand or our, your brand to the next level by any means. I'm gonna leave you with that. Uh, if you have any comments, I know there's gonna be a lot of comments. Let me know um, in the comments below. Share this video, save it. Um, if you guys wanna get in touch with me or my team, link in the bio, and I will see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Peace out.